Hi, I'm Dr. Bruce DiNardo in the Physics Department of the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California. Capacitors are useful for the storage of electrical energy and the conversion of alternating current to direct current. Also, most microphones are capacitors. Here is a large capacitor. The capacitance is three and a half millifarads, and the maximum DC potential difference is 100 volts. I'm going to charge um, the capacitor with a series of 9 volt batteries. And it's interesting that you can connect 9 volt batteries in series like this directly. So let's begin, however, with just two batteries. So I'm going to charge the capacitor, and you'll notice that I only need to momentarily connect the batteries to the capacitor because the charging occurs very quickly. The time for charging is dictated by the RC time constant, which is the product of the resistance and the capacitance, and this is very small here. I'm now going to discharge the capacitor by placing a metal bar across the tops of the electrodes. We see and hear a small spark, and it's not very dramatic. However, now let's use 11 of the batteries, which yields 99 volts. Okay, so I now have 11, this is 99 volts, which is about 100 volts. This is approximately five times the voltage in the first case. However, the energy of a capacitor is proportional to the square of the voltage. So the energy will increase by a factor of about 25. We thus expect a substantially greater spark now. Capacitors can be dangerous and even fatal. Always make sure that a large capacitor is discharged before you handle it.